how to add input validation to your catalog item variables. In our catalog item, we have these three fields, your email, home phone number, and work phone number. Currently, any input is accepted into these fields. There are several different ways that we can validate this data, but the simplest way to ensure users are only entering in valid values is with variable validation regex. So on our catalog item in the variables section, we can open up the variable for your email. In this variable record, in the tab for type specifications, we can see the field validation regex. We can see there's an option already here for email. So we can select this, but notice there is no option for a phone number here. So we will need to add a new one. Once we update this record, what we want to do is in the navigator, type in variable validation regex. Here we can see the list of options that are available to us out of the box. To add a new one, we can click new. We can give this a unique name. And the field validation message to appear if the input fails against this regex. And then the regular expression. Uh, so what this regular expression will do is make sure that the phone number is 10 digits with or without the dash separator. We can submit this and then back in our catalog item in our variable section, we can open up home phone number. Then same as we did for the email field, the validation regex field, we can do a 10 digit phone number and then we can save it. Then the great thing about using the variable validation is that we can do this again for the work phone number. So we can go to the same validation regex field and we can select the new option that we created. We're able to use this validation regex against any variable in any catalog item. Uh, so that's one of the great things about using this is it's uh, dynamic for other variables. So if we were to go back to our catalog item, refresh the page to see our changes, We can now see if I were to type in an invalid input here, we would get an error message underneath the field for not a valid email. Then the same thing for our home phone number and then our work phone number. If we were to try to submit this form as is, we can see we get an error message for the fields are invalid. So then if we can go back, we can fix our fields. Our home phone number and our work phone number, you can see the error messages went away. This has been another finite byte video and I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching.